turning blood into uh, milk or turning blood into ink. Now, uh, so perhaps this gap between the book one and book two appeared for the blood to turn into milk again and so he started off and uh, he ran non-stop for ten years to produce five other uh, books of Masnavi. Therefore, the first book, which took him two years, and then two years uh, lapse, and then ten years. So the whole Masnavi, as I said before, is the child of 14 years of uh, life of Rumi, and uh, um, he didn't actually stop, but death stopped him. So he had to uh, become silent. Uh, and that was at the end of his uh, life. So this is actually the story of uh, the book and the Mastavi, how it was uh, created and uh, how it was conducted by uh, Rumi. There are a lot to be said in this respect, but let us leave it at that and come to the imagery of, uh, of the read. <coughs> now, uh, we read the two... Uh, verses of the beginning of the book one in the uh, last session we have got it in mind we come back to it again but I would like you to see some other images or imageries that uh, Rumi actually uses with respect to our relationship with, with God let us see and then we will actually find and uh, understand the force of the imagery of uh, read and then of course I will go to uh, to uh, offer some explanations for this now come to the page uh, 35 in the page 35 of course this is a piece of a big story I'm not going to tell you that story it is the story of uh, a, a minister a vizier as uh, Nicholson has put it according to some Islamic uh, um, mythology I would say uh, a Jew actually corrupted the whole Christian faith now uh, what Rumi actually is telling us in this story is the story of that Jew vizier or minister who corrupted the uh, Christian faith so we are not actually concerned with the story itself so forget about this uh, this vizier and so on come to this uh, page 35 um, now um, from the third verse I'm reading you we are as the heart Okay, found it. We are as the harp and thou art striking with the plectrum. The lamentation is not from us. It is thou that art making lamentation. We are as the flute and the music in us is from thee. We are as the mountain and the echo in us is from thee. We are as pieces of chess engaged in victory and defeat. Over victory and defeat is from thee, although whose qualities are comely. Who are we, although soul of souls, that we should remain in being beside thee? We and our existence are really non-existences. Thou art the absolute being, which manifests the appreciable. Well, I mean, according to my translation, which looks like a appreciable thing. Now, this is the choice of Nicholson. The, 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 the Persian version is ما أدمهاي مهستيهاي ما تو وجود مطلقي فاني نما It depends on the word to take it as a transitive or the intransitive word. Now, Nicholson has taken it as a transitive verb. So, manifest appreciable. But if you take it intransitive, this to me is more meaningful, then we have to translate it into you or thou art the absolute being which looks appreciable, looks mortal, something. Um, <coughs> which manifests appreciable causes phenomena to appear. Now, 
We all are lions, but lions on a banner. Because of the wind, they are rushing onward from moment to moment. Their onward rush is visible and the wind is unseen. May that which is unseen not fail from us. Our wind and our being are of thy gift. Our whole existence is from the bringing us into being. So it goes on. Now you see that there are a number of images here. The lion and the banner. The flute and the music. The mountain and the echo. The harp and uh, performing or playing with the harp and so on and so forth. In some other places you will see many other images like this. Only one of them here is the flute and the music or the reed and the uh, blowing into the reed and there are many others. Now who is thou? Of course is God. No, he's addressing God. He's talking to him and he's trying to uh, show us um, how are we related to, to him and uh, what sort of uh, perception of the connection between us and him we should have. Um, all the imageries actually serve the purpose uh, of uh, telling us that we are nothing, absolutely nothing. We are void, we are empty, we have nothing from us. And uh, um, everything comes to us from God, the blowing, the sense, the life, the existence. So he uh, takes and adopts uh, various images in order to convey the message. Um, one of these things is uh, the mountain and the echo. Now, I, I think the, the <coughs> most pictorial one is the lion and the wind. Um, maybe you have seen the banners or the flags on which there are lions. This is of course the uh, official banner or flag of the um, Iranian dynasties. So because as you know, a uh, lion is the king of the animals according to the myth. So it was very appropriate, very suitable for the kings in order to choose and to use the image of the lion on the banner, on the official flag of the country, of the kingdom, and so on. So when they used the, uh, the image or the picture of a lion on the banner, it meant that it belongs to a king. Now, um, when Rumi actually used this, it was uh, I mean, very familiar to his audience. Now, he said that we are all lions. We are very proud of ourselves, that we are lions. We are courageous, we are powerful, and we are the kings of the animal kingdom, and so on and so forth. But, but we are the lions on the banners. Now, it seems that we move, it seems that perhaps we attack somebody, but all comes from the wind behind us. Since the wind is blowing, now the banner moves, and it seems that as if the lion was moving, and attack attacking someone, and as if uh, she had the life and the power and the will to attack and to move. One of the aptest images in order to tell us that uh, apparently, ostensibly, we are something, but really we are nothing. We are just the lifeless pictures. If there is no blowing of the wind of God, we are nothing and we can do nothing by ourselves. So this is this, but then of course the imagery of reed is much more important because that tells us a lot more. Of course this helplessness, lifelessness, motionlessness, everything is, uh, is uh, I mean there in the imagery of lion and wind and banner. All those you have got. But something you do not have it there, and that is the idea of the form and, uh, and formlessness and boundlessness and uh, uh, the uh, the idea.